What is up everybody? Phil Woodrum here back with another one week challenge video. This week I wanted to see if I could learn how to shuffle cards like a pro. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. Day one. This is before I had ever practiced. This is just the normal way I do it. We'll see how it looks. So as you can see, my, uh, my speed is not very good. I can kind of riffle them together, but the bridge at this point, I just had no idea how to do it, so I'm really not even going to come close here. Again, pretty smooth there, but just literally zero idea how to form the bridge and actually get that riffle shuffle. So we'll do one more here. Again, no riffle. So I watched a couple uh, yeah, YouTube tutorials. I'll link those down in the description. But once again, I did not practice. Let's see how it looks. So here I am trying to get the form down that they taught in the video. Uh, felt pretty awkward. Here's me trying to get the riffle, but there was just no chance. Here we go again, kind of fumbling around, trying to get the technique down, trying to get the cards positioned in my hand correctly. See how it looks. No chance, once again. And one last time. We'll take a look here. Yeah, really struggling to get them bent up together. So then, still day one, but I went ahead and practiced for one hour. Okay. So I kind of got them together, and I got them bent up for the riffle part, but I just, for some reason, I could not figure out how to actually shuffle them together. I think maybe I was just holding them too tight or something. Day two, I went ahead and practiced for one hour once again. Total practice time of two hours. Let's see how it looks. Absolute fail right there. That was <laughs> that was trash. Okay. So there we go. I got the bend kind of, but they just kind of flopped together. They didn't really riffle shuffle. Here we go again. Looks kind of good. Got the bend. Got him to riffle a little bit, but still nothing impressive. That was pretty clean there. It looks... That was pretty good, actually. So, day three, one hour of practice. Again, total time, three hours. Okay, yeah, here we go at that point. It's looking pretty good. By day three, I was comfortable saying, yes, I can do it. I just would not say I was an expert by any means and my consistency just wasn't really where I wanted it to be. I felt like I couldn't just be playing cards with friends and just do it easily every time. But as you can see, it's coming along really well. So practiced one hour once again. Let's see what we got day four. This should look pretty good. Okay. Okay, <laughs> there it is. That was clean, man. That was clean. Oh, 
Oh, baby, there it is. That's looking good. That's four days of practice to learn a skill that will last a life. So, I mean, you could just do this while watching TV. I mean, who doesn't watch one hour of TV or YouTube per day where you could definitely practice this, learn this skill, a valuable skill that's really going to last you forever. So, day five, once again, practiced one more hour. Total time, five hours. Let's take a look. Not bad. Still, consistency is not perfect, but still, even that wasn't too bad. Pretty clean, pretty quick, too. I'm getting it down pretty quick. There we go, and see, I almost messed that up, but I was getting good enough now where I could save it. So then I tried to practice in hand, no table, because I was feeling honestly at that point I could say I could definitely do the riffle shuffle. So tried to learn in hand, no table, and day one didn't go great, but I was getting honestly kind of bored of the regular shuffle because I felt like really I had mastered it, so... Here we go, 20 minutes of practice, total time, 5 hours, 20 minutes. Uh, let's see what we got here. I believe I spent most of the day doing it in hand because, like I said, I had already more or less got the riffle shuffle down on the table. So I was getting kind of bored. That's why I only practiced 20 minutes. Boom, that was clean. That was pretty much perfect. So here we go, third time, boom, sexy. I believe I go in hand now, yep. Practice this a little bit that day. Not too bad. Honestly, it's a skill that I don't really feel like I need, so it was just kind of for fun at this point. Just I wanted to stay true to the challenge and practice every day for a week. So here we go, doing in hand. Not half bad. Could be better, could be a lot worse. Okay, again, practice another 45 minutes. So this was the last day of practice, last day of the challenge. So I practiced total of six hours, five minutes throughout the course of the week. Here's the regular one, boom, perfect, clean, easy. I can still do it anytime I want. I have not lost the skill. Boom, quick, easy, sexy. I could pull this out any day, anytime, playing cards with friends, no worries, and it looked dope. So there we go with the in hand once again. Not too bad. It's not super clean, but I can kind of do it. So there you have it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I learned a valuable skill in the process. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what challenges you want to see next. Hopefully new challenges coming out every week. So thanks again. Have a good one.